will never forget November 2nd of 2020. So that was the day, probably about 10 o'clock at night, that the knock on the door came and it was the Milwaukee Police Department. They needed to ask us a bunch of questions. After a couple of minutes, you get this feeling in your stomach that's like, okay, something's not right, what is going on? And they told us that Tiana was shot in the head um, and that she was at the hospital. Community violence is roaring. It's not just here in Wisconsin and Milwaukee, it's across the nation. And where we're going now, it's, there has been a 150% increase in violent crimes. There are a number of things that we can point fingers at as to what's going on and why this is happening. But at the end of the day, each individual has to take a stand and really say, I wanna make a difference. Project Ujima works with individuals and then are victims of crime. Project Ujima receives about 500 referrals every year for children and adult individuals that are victims of crime. A page is made to our department. We go to the hospital and we identify the immediate need of the individual. It could be housing, it could be food, it could be just plain safety, and then mental health support. We're not just serving the victim, we're actually serving the family of the survivors of the victim in order to move from pain to peace where families can get that opportunity to heal. The first couple days was terrifying. We didn't know if she was going to make it, she was in a coma. The possible loss of a child. I think the most debilitating thing about that is when you feel like you're alone and you have to do this by yourself and you don't know what to do and you don't know the questions to ask. With Tiana's family, I'm gonna come every day. Mom, if you can't be here, I can sit with Tiana for a few hours. That's what the team does. We meet them right where they're at. She was in the ICU for about a month. It was Thanksgiving Day, and one of the therapy nurses was in there, and she played the music that Tiana liked. Look at you! Oh, look at your figure! Oh, my God, baby girl. It was, well, a day to be thankful. Our entire families, you know, our entire lives changed. And really, it wasn't until more recovery began that then you start actually looking at, well, what happened? How am I handling this? How is she handling this? How are the kids handling this? It was a lot of feelings like I was angry, I was scared, I was sad. I just knew I felt something. It didn't feel normal or how it was supposed to. Project Ujima took my mind away from everything else and gave me people who've been through situations like I have. Help me understand how I was feeling. Knowing that you have that support system and somebody is there was very beneficial in looking forward. It doesn't take away the pain. It doesn't take away, you know, the trauma that you've gone through. But I knew that somebody had my back. A lot of times when kids are hurt, they don't focus on the need for play. And we just remind them that play is very important and family relationships are very important. We have a lot of family events that the family can come together and start to build relationships with others that have experienced similar incidents. I mean, it says it mm -hmm. takes a village to raise a child. And truly, that's part of the village. The village isn't just the medical care. What better way than for medical professionals that are taking care of children to be able to help them make sure that things are right outside of the hospital setting as well. The program is completely voluntary. We don't bill insurance. We don't ask them for any monetary support. Children's Wisconsin invests in Project Ujima. We are a program of focus for the children's health system. I think Children's does a great job of looking at the overall health of the child, the emotional component, the physical component, the social component. It really takes a wide team to be able to address all of those things together. 
children's was very, very helpful and comforting for me. I say that they're angels because that's what they've made me feel like. I can say that they've just been so caring, so kind, so communicative, and so loving to me. It's, it's like our second family. I mean, without, you know, Children's and Project Ujima being there, it would have made the journey a lot harder. Sienna is how we know we're making a difference. It's seeing her smiling face when you walk through the door, going to the home visit, seeing the parent welcome you with open arms and be comfortable letting someone in their space. That's not the stories that you hear. We get those all the time. From people that see my story, the number one most important thing that I would like them to get out of this is all of these programs are super helpful and can help you if you're in need. I don't want them to be scared to ask for help or for them to think that they shouldn't. Whatever situation they may, they may be in, <clears throat> I just want them to know that it's okay, they'll get through it and they're loved.